Hello everyone, this is Darlene Knight, Little Grown Girl. Um, wanted to show you another one of the items that we sold on eBay. And it's one of the, the crossbody bags that we make. This one is the Love and Peace crossbody bag. And um, this bag we literally made from scraps that we had left over from the sack dresses that we make. And we wanted to show you how easy it is to make money on eBay you know just from the simplest things that you that you make and for this little bag we made four dollars and ninety nine cent and we applied free shipping and I think we paid maybe a dollar and thirty two cent to ship it because we put it in the regular legal size envelope and because the bag is so lightweight it was easy to fold it and place it in the envelope as if I, we were mailing out a, a letter so the shipping was very, you know, it was very cheap on it. So either way, we made a profit of over uh, $2, you know, once you start deducting the fees at PayPal charges and also eBay charges. We still made a profit off of some scrap material. And this is why we keep stressing if you make handmade items, uh, eBay is prime real estate to test market your products. Um, I went to a workshop the other day, and it was how to start a clothing line on a shoestring budget. And the young lady that was over the workshop, she, she kind of voiced, if you're not able to sell a certain amount of units to a retail store or a certain amount of units at one time, you're basically a hobby, you're not a business. And like I told her, I tend to disagree with that because every person's idea of success is different. I may not want to sell 300 items to a retail store. I may want to just continue selling my items like I sell my items and that being on eBay or um, at private shows, at street fairs, at um, you know different different venues where I sell. So for me that's convenient for me. That's what I like. That produces the, the income that I'm comfortable with. As with another person, they may want to sell their wares to a retail store. And as I scanned around the audience, I, I saw the facial expressions of some people, you know, where they literally disagree too because my idea of success is not your idea of success. Um, her idea of success is not the instructor's idea of success. So for me, it was almost like a workshop where you kind of, you know, take away what applies and disregard what doesn't. And I think that's what happens a lot of times with especially people that are um, very talented and that are creators and designers. You know, they kind of listen to what other people say, but there is not a blueprint for what it is that I do. There is not a blueprint for my idea of success, but only in my mind, not yours. So I encourage any and all of you that are crafters, that are uh, seamstress, that make nice unique items and you know the, the quality is division one you know sell those items